in the place I'm the one and only star in the place, yeah You don't want to step to me You don't want to come for me You don't want to step to me Welcome to the first episode of Wrestling with Nausea. And it's not just about wrestling because it's all about me, 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 me. So what I need you lovely, wonderful people to do is subscribe, hit that notification bell so when the next episode come out, you know, you subscribe, notification bell, you know what I'm saying? Because I want to give y'all, give you all of me, give you all of me, give you all, all of me. So let me tell you what the show is about. I'm going to talk some wrestling stuff. I'm going to talk my wrestling career, what's going on in the wrestling industry. I want to talk about my personal life. I'm going to have a Q&A segment where each week I'm going to ask some questions that you all want me to answer. Then I have a section called, I can't stand. Uh, I can't stand. I'm just going to talk about things I can't stand. And we're going to start day off with I can't stand because it's fresh on my brain. And then, of course, I'm going to have a 20-second segment. Well, I'm not going to let you know. But anyway, this is going to be fun. It's going to be a quick five minutes. We're going to have some story time. I'm going to do it up, and you're going to get to know more of nausea. Because I know, I know, I know it in my spirit. Swimming in my spirit. No, God, please, no. no. The first segment we're going to start the show off with is I can't stand. Can't stand. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is these motherfucking scam calls. All day long, every single hour. I'm not the only one. Come on now, five years ago we had the scam calls. Scam lightly. What is a scam lightly? Stop lightly calling my phone. I can't take it no Please, please, no more scam calls. Please. T-Mobile, what is she doing, T-Mobile? What is you doing to me, T-Mobile? The other thing I can't stand, I live in Georgia. Why is it cold already? I'm used to it being cold at the end of December, early January, February. It's, what month is it? Whatever month it is, it should be cold in Georgia. I, have... I don't understand why it's so cold. I wasn't prepared. <sighs> the third thing I can't stand is stink people. Why did you stink? I don't understand. You know, showers, bathroom sinks, you can whole wash. Seriously, what the f are you doing? I mean, you can even spray some cologne. What is going on? They sell all kinds of deodorants, everything. Why is you stink? I mean, I can understand if you just came from the gym or if you just got out of wrestling practice or something like that. But when you come into wrestling practice, stink, stink, anyway, stink, stink. Question number one somebody sent was, what's your favorite match? Oh, man. Oh man. So my favorite match before 2021 was me versus De La Vega in the hair versus hair match. And um, I love that match because of the story building up to it. He was my best friend. I turned on him. I, I tased him. I cut his hair. Oh, uh, you know, I, it was a big storyline leading up with the referee that was involved in the match. Then we had this. Show stealer banger match, and for years that has been my favorite match. But this year, you know, after going through that best of seven match, well, best of seven series with Nick Allen, uh, match number three, match number seven, I, I don't know. You know, this year I've been, I've been, I've been knocking them out the park. You know, it's been some good matches this year. So right now, I don't even know. But you know, those three matches are always going to be in the conversation. Uh, the best of seven series with match three, match seven, um, and then the best, the hair versus hair match. You know, uh, honestly, the past 
since I got kind of injured in the match seven with Nick Allen, kind of hit the concrete doing the dive. All head, all shoulder, all that. So it's been kind of hard to lift weights and to to really like uh, work on my upper body. So these past few weeks has been a lot of cardio. And I noticed my body was getting smaller. I felt like I was shrinking. So this past week I have been doing nothing but protein, chicken breast, uh, protein shakes, whatever it is to build my muscle back up. And then my, my upper body started to feel strong again. You know, I'm lifting a little bit, getting a... It is starting to be a major difference. So pretty much just training every week, making sure I get in the ring at, one, at least once or twice a week, making sure I'm doing cardio, making sure I'm constantly working out at home before I get in the shower, I do my push-ups, you know, whatever it is, doing 150 push-ups a day, making sure I stay limber, stretchy, look, to each his own, but I say never stop training. I don't care how long you've been doing this. Try to get as many training sessions in as possible because you always come up with something new. You're always able to refine what you've already been doing, come up with a different way to go into certain things. So I always say train. Question number three, are you single? Am I single? What you try, what? Yeah, I'm single. What you gonna do about it? Mm. Mm. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What's the plan? What's the plan here? I'm single. I'm single. <laughs> All right, question number four. Why do you paint your face? Um, you know, the, the answer I used to uh, give people is, you know, it, it really is a, I become a different person. I feel like I'm going to war. It just really puts me in that mode of it's time to fight, which is the catchphrase. But honestly, uh, you know, a lot of, I feel like face paint is ageless. You know, staying a lot of these people who wrestle with face paint on, it's ageless. Um, also, when I first started wrestling, I had a few insecurities about my skin because I had some skin issues going on back then. And I knew the face paint, I don't have to worry about all my skin issues at the time. But now, you know, I don't have as many skin issues. We all have, you know, our flaws and stuff like that. But um, it was, honestly, when I started out, it was a way, to, a way to hide my flaws. And sometimes you see stuff that other people don't see, and that's just a part of life. You are always your worst critic. You always are going to see things, because you look at yourself on a daily basis. Some people see you at a quick glance and stuff like that. And a lot of people don't see you the way that you see yourself. So, you know, it is what it is. Let's talk some wrestling. Let's talk NST 2.0. I don't know how everybody else feels. You can comment below. You can tell me how you feel about it. But I'm just going to, you know, talk about it for about one minute. You know, I have loved NST, the black and gold brand. I, I think maybe seven years ago, something like that. I had close friends who were wrestlers or, you know, close friends who were in the industry or love wrestlers, just wrestling fans in general, was just hyping it up, talking about how good NXT was. They got this person out, blah, 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 yada, yada. And I was that one that was holding out. I was like, I don't know, I ain't got time. It's too much content. Huh. I was talking about it was too much content back then. It's really, you know, a lot going on right now. But I just was like, I wouldn't commit to it. But man, I think it was when I watched that takeover, that first Brooklyn show, I was like, okay, <laughs> this is it. This is the alternative I need. You know, I didn't realize how stale WWE was starting to feel to me. You know, I, uh, I can't quite remember the time periods, but you know, I was really hooked on people like Dan Bryan, Sam Hunk. You know, and I'm an old school wrestling fan. Like I love the the uh, 90s, the 80s, some of the stuff in the 70s. Like I like to really go back and look at it because that's where you really get a lot of your storytelling. Um, in my eyes, like a lot of the storytelling and stuff that I love about wrestling happened back then. Um, you know, I, I don't hate on the, the newer product, all the go go go. And a lot of people when they watch me wrestling, they think it's go 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 with. It's very subtle go go goes. Like the first part of the match, we slow it down. I take my time. Then that last four or five minutes is where we pick it up and it's bang, bang, bang. 
But I like to tell that story and build up to that bang, bang, bang. You hear me? Bang, bang, bang. I do it. I do that. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, let's back to the subject at hand. 2.0. So I got to say that, to say the less. Um, to say the least. You're so stupid. But, you know, once the Wednesday Night War started, where it was back and forth with AEW and NXT, some weeks I just didn't want to watch NXT. I mean, that, the show was still good. The segments were entertaining. A lot of Johnny Gargano stuff. I just really was entertained by the product. Um, but this whole reboot over the past couple weeks is just abruptly... All the new people, all the changes, it was just too much for me. And I watched that first 2.0 episode and I I didn't think it was bad, but it was just too much new, 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 new. To the point where there's so much new going on, I don't feel like one person is really getting over because I'm not getting my time to, and I'm not getting enough time to invest into one of the new people because I'm trying to invest in all these new people. So I kind of checked out the past couple weeks. I haven't been watching it. I watched Halloween Havoc uh, two days ago, and I mean, Mandy Rose, she showed up, she showed out, that's my catchphrase. I show up, I show out, and when I show up and I show out, it's time to fight, that's my catchphrase, but she showed up and she showed out, and she did her thing, um, I think she's really hitting her stride. I don't know about that dark hair though. I kind of like the blonde hair. But it's whatever whatever's making you happy, Mandy. Whatever makes you happy. That stood out to me. The the three-way ladder match, even though I'm not as familiar with uh, the Parada lady. I forgot her name. Or, you know, Gigi and Jay. I've been watching, but I haven't been, like, investing into them. But they really showed up, showed up, made me more interested, made me want to see more. And then, okay, I'm a big Steiner Brothers fan. I'm a big Rick Steiner fan. So the first time I saw uh, Ron Breaker, if that's what you want to call him, I was hooked because I'm, I'm a big Rick Steiner fan. And he took so many elements from the Steiner Brothers and so many elements from Rick Steiner and Scott Steiner to the point where I'm invested and the moveset and everything, I love the throwback to the Steiner Brothers. Um, and I do see them building around them. I'm fine with that. But it's too much too soon for me. You know, for other people it might be, hey, it's on fire, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. But anyway, that's my take on it right now. I'm trying to get back into it. I'm trying to watch it. But I can't say that I'm going to consistently watch every week. I'll try to keep up, read the reviews, and then when the bigger shows come watch it or whatever. Moving on. NXT. All right. The other thing I'm going to touch on is the ratings war. The demo. Come on. I'm, I, I, I listen to a lot of podcasts. Eric Bischoff, JR, Kurt Angle. Uh, Bruce Fitch. I love just writing Carlos the podcast. I barely listen to music in the car sometimes. <sighs> and a lot of people were talking about the whole Eric Bischoff comment of what's been going on. If you don't know about it, research it. But my main thing is when Rampage and SmackDown was on last week or whatever, what Rampage had about 500 and something thousand viewers. SmackDown had 2.2 plus million viewers and these wrestling fans who really know nothing about television, nothing about ratings, nothing about demographics because the wrestlers are spewing this foolishness, everybody's talking about the demo. Look, there is 2 million more viewers on the other channel. I don't care what the demo for 18 to 49 says. That may be what a lot of advertisers look for, but that is not the only important category, and that is not the only thing that advertisers look for. There is 2 million more viewers. There's no way that is a win. I don't care. I love AEW. I love WWE. I love my wrestling people. But 2 million more viewers, there is no competition right now. Now, I'm not saying there will, will not be a competition down the line, but there ain't going to never be no competition between Rampage, a tape show, and SmackDown, a live show that's on a broader network, whatever. 
whatever you want to say. I'm just going to nip it in the bud. That demo bleep does not matter right now, okay? Moving on. I got Trevor Aon coming up in a couple weeks. Uh, spoke with some other big name talents in the past week. And they want to smoke, so I'm not taking nobody to catch birdies. I'm not going to do it. But anyway, they want the smoke, so I'm going to give them the smoke. Look, I've been training hard. I train weekly. No matter how much experience, I've been in this game for a while. But anyway, I'm in shape. I'm in the best shape of my career. My bones kind of ache a little bit, you know. Uh, we all go through our insecurities. And, you know, as the show goes on, I'm going to let you know what some of my insecurities have been in wrestling. Whether it's from being too small or thinking I'm this or thinking I'm that. Anyway... I'm going to be announcing the bigger matches that's going to be coming up, where they're going to be, how you can see them, uh, you know. And literally, I'm trying to go as far as I can, you know, with my wrestling, my acting, my entertainment career in general, and just learning to love myself and be happy being myself. And um, this show is going to be a big part of it. I'm so glad you decided to tune in to the greatest, the baddest, the best, Mr. GBB himself. Everybody knows I always show up and I show out because when I walk into the place, it is time to fight. So as you get to know me more, um, you know, I hope you find a way to spend some money on me. You know, buy some shirts for wrestlingtees.com backslash narcissism. You know, invest into what I have going on, invest into my show, invest into it variety.